Uh, like the lady in the story by Nathaniel whatever. The local access TV series Plymouth Spotlight began airing on Pemmy Baker TV in late 2011 and features central New Hampshire musical artists and bands. Local singer-songwriter Jim Terrell has been the unofficial promoter and organizer of Plymouth's local music scene since the show's inception. Terrell has now teamed up with American Pie Pizza owner Chad Owens in a perfect storm of pizza and art by giving musicians and visual artists a venue to showcase their talents. In winter 2014, Plymouth Spotlight became Plymouth Spotlight Open Mic, which happens every Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the pizza shop neighboring the Flying Monkey. Co-owner Chad Owens, who opened the restaurant on Main Street with his wife Sasha in August of last year, wanted the restaurant to be a comfortable gathering place for the local arts community. Owens and Terrell have been making a video compilation of the open mic nights exclusively for Pemmy Baker TV. Look for a return of Plymouth Spotlight on PBTV this summer. So Jim, you host this, this whole open mic and you actually start it. I do. Normally I'll, I'll perform a song or two in the beginning. I mean, as an open mic host, you have to be ready to perform all night if nobody else shows up. But the ideal situation is the host doesn't need to play a note. You just get other musicians up and you get to hear them. Um, and tonight was one of those nights where I kind of did my thing, but I did it very early and very quickly. And the rest of the night is just running around making sure everybody kind of gets up. And this is uh, open mic has been happening for about six months. Uh, a little longer than that. I think we started in about November. And uh, how long? So how long does it take you to, to organize this every week? Well, you do it on the fly. It depends on who shows up and everything. But you just kind of figure it out as you go. Um, and you have to kind of estimate how long each musician is going to get. Tonight we're on a three-song clock because we've got a ton of artists. Uh, but sometimes you can just stand up there and play for a half hour. You know. Uh, there have been nights where it was just Buck and myself, and we just went back and forth all night. Three things that we should know, being in Plymouth, about open mic that you wouldn't normally think of? Oh, well, the three things that you should know about open mics. Number one, it's open to absolutely anybody. Uh, people will often... Children? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Norman over here, uh, he, he sings every now and then. We get him up there. Um, my three-year-old son, Harper, who I think you know, yes. has gotten up there and sang songs before. I mean, He was a baby when I saw him. Yeah, I mean, he still kind of is, but um, he, it's, it's totally open to anybody who wants to participate. No matter how terrible? What's that? No matter how terrible? Uh, you can't yeah. get kicked off, there's no hook? It's not even about that. I mean, you know, anybody who has gone up and done it has been much better than they will tell you they're going to be. Uh, pardon me, I have to actually go set up the next artist. Okay, okay, I'll be go, right back. Go. up when we're ready to go. Oh, we're ready to go now? Hi. I'm here with a local singer-songwriter, Holly Furlone. Tell me, Holly, uh, when did you start playing the guitar? Uh, well, I, I, I picked it up about um, 15 years or so ago, oh, okay. maybe, maybe a little less, but I didn't know how to do anything. So I, I really started playing about I don't know, five years or so ago and started playing at open mics and things um, consistently about a year ago. Oh, great. And you're, and you're playing out fairly often now. Yeah, uh, I am. I'm trying to. When you play, you do, uh, I assume, originals and cover songs during your set. Uh, which do you prefer? What do you like best? Uh, well, I'd love to, to feel more confident playing cover songs, but I really prefer to play original music because it's kind of like my therapy, and when I mess up, nobody knows because they're my songs. So. <laughs> oh, sure, you can get away with anything, yeah. yeah. Where are you playing next? I'm um, playing over in Rumney at the Common Cafe and Tavern on Thursday of this week from 7 to 10. Oh, no kidding. Wonderful. Holly Furlone, everybody. Leopard print couch. What do you think of the leopard print couch? <laughs> I know you didn't even notice, did you? <laughs> I'm here with Terry Sackett, local singer-songwriter. I'm calling you a songwriter. Do you write songs, Terry? I don't. I'm here with local musicians. 
<laughs> Terry Sackett. And uh, he hosts an open mic as well. And it's uh, Thursday nights over at Remington's, right? That's correct. How's that going over there? It's going really well. It actually started kind of slow, but it's been picking up uh, recently now that the warmer months are coming upon us. And uh, It takes a little while I for those things to build up. Around, yeah. How long have you been at it over there? Uh, since October. So what's that? Uh, I don't know. Seven, eight months, something like that. Yeah, call it half a year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and now you guys do a fun thing for the musicians over there, and I'm really impressed by it. Um, there's there's some kind of a giveaway that takes place. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you know, when I first started thinking about hosting an open mic, um, I wanted to really give something to the musicians for putting it out there. You know, I thought to make it more fair, uh, to level the playing field, we would have a raffle. So all the musicians that show up uh, get a ticket, and if they're still there at 10 o'clock. We draw a raffle, and they win a $25 gift certificate to the restaurant. Oh, see, that's a really nice thing to do because, yeah. you know, they get to express themselves, but it also pays something back to them for, sure. for going out and playing. At least they get a chance to get paid back, you know what I mean? And if they keep showing up, the chances of winning are better. Sure, absolutely. Oh, that's fantastic. Thursdays over at Remington's. What time? Uh, 8 to 10. Well, I'll have to see you there. All right, man. Terry Sackett, everybody. Thank you. I'm here with local singer, songwriter, musician Erica Cushing. Uh, Erica is an old musical friend of mine. I'm not saying you're old. I'm saying we've been friends for a long time. He's saying I'm old. No. And uh, you're working on a pretty exciting new project right now. I'd love to. I'd love to have you share that with the people. I am. Um, I'm in the process of getting an album together of uh, local artists that have uh, inspired or helped mold my musical career throughout my life and uh, Jim is actually one of the artists that I'm covering on the album so it's it's a cover album of local artists and it's going to be called Local Recovery keep an eye out for it and it's a hundred dollars no I'm just kidding um, <laughs> and so yeah that's my project it's been super fun in fact I uh, performed one of your songs tonight that was a real treat I mean it's it's such a humbling experience to see someone else interpret a piece of your own work and I, I can't tell you what that meant to me now how many songs do you think you're gonna have on the project do you know yet so far there have been uh, 10 people who have given me their music plus I'm gonna do a couple of my father's and Maybe throw in one of my own. We'll see. But it's been exciting. Uh, just the uh, freedom that people have given me. And, you know, do what you want and make it your own. And it's incredible to take someone else's artwork and, and, and put your own spin on it. And to be entrusted with that kind of gift is amazing. So it's been super exciting. Oh, that's just wonderful. When it comes out on CD, we're going to have to get a copy so that we can put it in the CD jukebox here at the Pie. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Erica Cushing. Where are you from, Erica? <laughs> I uh, grew up here in Plymouth, and now I live in Thornton, New Hampshire, in the USA. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're not a full-time musician. What are you doing when you're not being a musician? Uh, I raise beef. <laughs> I'm a farmer. <laughs> Oh, and occasionally bartend, <laughs> and oh. among other things, flowers. <laughs> I, do. I wonder if there's any kind of music slash beef crossover opportunity. Hey, the cows are a great audience. They never complain. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. I should probably come out and play to the cows sometime. That's not, that actually sounds really fun. Thanks, Erica. Hey, you're welcome. I like it because it's melancholy and I'm feeling a little melancholy right now. But it just has the funniest story that goes with it.
So I'm here with Jim at the Plymouth Spotlight. Jim, how are you tonight? I'm doing very well, thanks. It's been a very busy night. Now, would you say this is a uh, bigger turnout than you guys have usually had? or uh, Certainly as far as uh, diners and people that are in the restaurant just to check things out, yes. And I think we put a record number of performers on stage tonight, too. I think we've had uh, 20 acts tonight, which is a lot to fit in in a three-hour open mic, but uh, we did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, is it just a the older crowd of Plymouth, or do you have the, the students from Plymouth State as well attending? Or Actually, tonight it's been a very good mix. We had, a, uh, we had our normal crowd, which is a lot of the singer-songwriter crowd, and, and admittedly some of the local, o older, more local residents. But we also had a group come in who uh, they appeared to be in high school, to tell you the truth. Uh, some really young kids who did a great job on stage, and they brought a bunch of their friends with them as well. And when you're hosting an open mic in a restaurant, obviously that's the goal. You want to put people in seats. Um, so it was nice to see. This, is, uh, this was really well supported tonight. That's good. So are you a singer-songwriter yourself, or how did you get into the wacky world of throwing on open mics? I am. Uh, yeah, it's, it's how I make my living. I'm a, I'm a career musician. Um, and, you know, this is one way to not only involve other people, but to get music happening on a night that isn't a weekend night. You know, this is obviously on a Tuesday, uh, and that's not a normal performance night. I can't normally book Tuesday night shows, but it's a great night to get the community together and get a bunch of musicians together who don't normally play out uh, and to put entertainment in a room that wouldn't normally do it on a, on a weeknight. So with this being, is this the only venue that you have in Plymouth or do you have other venues that you guys do the spotlight in? Uh, this is the only Plymouth venue that I play at the moment to tell you the truth. Uh, I do another open mic on Wednesdays up at the Country Cow in Campton but it's a surprisingly different scene. Actually, you go only only a few miles up the road, and it, it becomes a very different vibe, you know. It, it's different from restaurant to restaurant, too. Uh, we have something special going on here. It's, it's, a, it's a unique thing, and I think people feel that. If you can describe the vibe from here versus to the Country Cow in Campton, what would you, how would you describe it? That's a little tricky. What I'm seeing here is predominantly more of a, the local folk music crowd. A lot of solo performers that are uh, mostly guitar driven um, and it's mostly guitar driven up at the cow too but the feel is a little more modern um, it's, it's a little bit younger uh, and there is some crossover between the two rooms as well but a lot of it also depends on who has a night off you know I, I have some people who just can't come out on Wednesdays so they come here instead um, and and that that kind of determines the dynamic. You had to uh, choose two artists that you would say inspire you as a musician. I know it's a hard question being a musician myself. Who would you say are the two most influential artists to you? Yeah, that is a really tough question. It probably changes every day, as exactly, you know. Exactly. Um, uh, XTC is a band from England that I always go back to uh, as far as their their songwriting uh, and uh, more recently I was affected by the work of Ben Folds uh, being a piano player um, it, it was really nice to see him bring that to the kind of to the modern forefront so that opened up a lot of musical ideas for me personally well Jim we look forward to seeing that it was a great interview thank you very much oh it's a pleasure thank and you. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're doing up at PCR you're up at the radio station right? yeah I am the uh, the president of 91.7 and what we're trying to do now is we're trying to build more of the community aspect as well as the student aspect because you know we are a community based radio station so we're trying to get more people and more different kinds of music in as opposed to just having the college kids sure. aspect. No, obviously, yeah. I, I love the sound of that because there's, there's a very vibrant community here right now and, and we get an opportunity to demonstrate that here every week. So, uh, yeah, uh, we should totally stay in touch because I think there's a lot to bring you on that. Yeah, without a doubt, I'd love to have that on board. Wonderful, thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Jim. Cheers. Have a good one. Sweet.